It is Thursday, September 8th, 2022. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Thursday puzzle today, so we'll have some sort of interesting or intricate or challenging theme. And this intricate or interesting edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by, uh, who's, let's see, it's been brought to us by Ryan Eaves, Connor O'Neill, and as always, the inestimable hood monster, the invaluable Timothy Mark, and the indomitable Showmaster. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for directly supporting this channel and helping to make this series a sustainable part of my daily work. I do very much appreciate that. So thank you to them, and thank you to everybody who has backed the Patreon campaign at any level. You can do that yourself. Um, and get access to all of the bonus videos that have gone up on the channel to date, as well as the new ones that have gone up, that do go up each week at patreon.com slash daily solve. So again, thank you if you are one of the people who's done so. And uh, you can subscribe to the channel and help us creep towards 10,000 subscribers. We're under 100 away at this point, which is very exciting. And you can join the Daily Solve Discord chat server in a link in the description field underneath the video as well to become part of that community. And... With all that said, let's get on to the puzzle today. So this is a Thursday crossword, as as noted. So it will have it will have a notable theme, and it was constructed by Matthew Stock, who's done oh I forget somewhere around a dozen or more uh, crosswords, I think, for the New York Times, and it was edited as always by Will Shorts. So let's start solving. One on the run, an escapee. Um, actually that would fit. That would fit. Well, let me just check the crosses and see if that happens to be right. Oh, maybe it will be. Word with sale, tax, or planning. A state sale, a state tax, or a state planning are all phrases. So there we go. Envelop to envelop is to swathe, maybe? That's not really right. I wouldn't say that's correct. Manicure target. Um, I don't know. Programming language named after a pioneering programmer. Oh, I think Ada, named for Ada Lovelace. Um, arguably the arguably the first computer programmer. Um, collectible disc of the 1990s. Oh, I, these I remember firsthand. Pogs. It's a funny fad with the little 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 round little round discs, as stated. I would have thought. I would have thought discs in this context would be D-I-S-C. I don't know. Anyway, I remember pogs. Blank milk. Although, what is this? Use milk? Not sure. Ultimately become is to end up maybe a certain way. And a computer menu command is shut down? Hmm. Is that really a menu command, though? I mean, I suppose it is selected from a menu. That would work with use milk. That would mean there would need to be a rebus or something, by which I mean um, something like this. Oops. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if that, I'm not putting this in, I'm only putting it in to, I'm putting it in temporarily to demonstrate the possibility of a rebus, which every time that happens in one of these videos, people, there's at least someone who's surprised about it, understandably so, um, because who would have thought you can do that? But yes, you can in the New York Times crossword, and it's called a rebus, and you can activate it with the rebus button here, uh, or elsewhere on mobile. So let's see, envelop Sheath? That doesn't really... Uh, hmm. Prioritized in a way. Triaged? So, um, I guess most literally used to refer to um, emergency medical care. You triage uh, order of priority. So let's see. This does look like used milk, doesn't it? And here we have evening fare, supper. Yeah, I guess that's the answer. So maybe this is shut down. It's just funny. I wouldn't have thought of that as a menu command. I would have think, thought of menu commands as things like copy and paste and uh, 
new file and sort of thing, that sort of thing. Whereas shutdown, I think of a menu command, I guess, as something for a program, whereas shutdown is for an entire computer, but I don't know. Member of the squad in DC for short. Oh, this is um, several representatives, including Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, AOC. So there we go. In US politics, of course. And then manicure target Oh, a cuticle. Oh, it is. It is it's exactly this, but it's uh, the rebus is positioned in a different spot than I thought. Okay, so cuticle would be a target for a manicure, part of your finger, and then com uh, computer menu command is shut down. I <laughs> spent far too long musing about the specifics of whether shutdown is a menu command and less time just trying to figure out if that was actually what goes in the puzzle, which it does. So to envelop is to shroud. There we go. Enveloped in smoke, shrouded in smoke, for instance. Okay. Apt focus of an annual festival in Holland, Michigan. Oh, tulips, I wonder? Because um, famously, uh, Holland, the Netherlands Association, has association with tulip, and there was the tulip bulb frenzy and all of that. So I wonder if this is for that reason or 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 not. Holland, Michigan. Anyway, there we go. Tulips. Okay. Uh, paradisiacal. Paradisiacal? Uh, this is the, clearly the <laughs> adjective form of paradise. What's the proper pronunciation of that? Anyway, Edenic, I would think. Similarly, the adjectival form of Eden, Garden of Eden. And step on it. Okay, so this has a, this has a uh, an exclamation point. So when you look at this, you might think that what it wants is a phrase that means step on it, because often that's that's how this would work. For for instance, uh, down here, similarly with a, with an exclamation point, I want to know what I missed. This is going to be a phrase that means that, but that's because this is in quotation marks. This is not, which means it's not actually an exclamation. It's when you don't have quotation marks like that. The exclamation point is essentially commenting on the subject of the answer. So this will be something that you step on, an insole maybe, in a shoe. And so that's just something to remember about unquoted exclamation point answers. Feels very fiddly, but just remember that if it's not in quotes, it's not something you say. So straightforward enough, at least in that context. Arouse as intrigue. You could pique someone's interest. And a good for nothing cur, maybe? Scoundrel. Low power is a low power question mark. So some sort of pun or wordplay. Not sure. US oh, US tourist locale that inspired this puzzle. Um, four corners, maybe? That's There are four states in the southwestern United States that whose borders meet in a perfect cross. The four corners touch one another. And, oh boy, what are they? Arizona and Nevada, maybe? Or maybe not Nevada. Arizona... New Mexico? I don't I don't remember which ones they are. I'm sorry. I think Arizona and New Mexico are among them. Anyway, what many verbs indicate what many verbs indicate. Oh uh, I feel like I should have gotten that once I see it, but I don't right now. Okay, let's see. What else can we do? Verse is poetry, poesy, maybe. Oh, and sorry, it just occurred to me. I, oh, the states are here. Sorry, Utah. Utah is one of them. Uh, right. Okay. The four corners. I didn't even think to connect. I, I solved this rebus and I'd gotten so distracted by figuring out how to fill in this answer that I, that I didn't even think to connect it back to here. So I wonder if that will be symmetrically disposed down here. Least likely to get up from the couch, say. Oh, I don't know. Something is. Well, so what did I think this one is? I thought this one was Arizona, probably. 
That's az laziest. Oh, right. Okay, so it's here. Okay, great. Uh, this would be a bit tougher if you didn't know anything about U.S. geography, although I clearly don't know that much because I only could think of two of them. So Utah, what would this one be? So laziest, so New Mexico would be over here. And so if this one were radially symmetrical with Utah, in other words, if you rotated the grid 180 degrees, if this cell were in the same position, it would be here. So if this were New Mexico, goo for a batter, something mix? I uh, don't know if that's right. What about this? Tw 2005 biopic in which Philip Seymour Hoffman plays the title role. I'm not sure offhand. I mean, I guess this could be wrong. What about this one? Key concept in feminist theory. Oh, the male gaze. There we go. Okay, so this one is certainly correct, which I that was one of the ones I sort of knew. And then New Mexico, I'm pretty sure is correct here as well, but I can't seem to get these. What about this? The Simpsons character in a green sweater. I have no idea, but it's in three letters. So who are three lettered Simpsons characters? Apu, Mo, Ned. Oh, Ned Flanders probably wears a green sweater. And then plus, maybe this is just and. So goo for a batter. I don't know. This isn't looking great. What about this film character depicted using CGI and old footage in The Rise of Skywalker? Um, this will be a Star Wars character. CGI and old footage. I was at Leia because didn't Carrie Fisher die sadly before the completion of that film? I don't really know if that's correct. Let's see. I don't know if any of this is right. Puts down. Wagers? No, it's not right. What to do when you're not strong? Oh, lean on me. Oh, the N, okay, New Mexico doesn't go there. It's not, it's not symmetrically disposed. Okay, that was, that was a bit of a, <laughs> that was a bit of a mess there that I created. Okay. So Lean On Me, what to do when you're not strong in a 1972 hit, the song Lean On Me. Okay, is that Bill Withers? Um, anyway, so there's New Mexico. So it's not quite symmetrically disposed. Oh, no, 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 no. No, it's not. Okay, anyway, that's fine. So <laughs> it'll be somewhere in this general area up here then, the final state, uh, which I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, but, but anyway, there we go. Extreme racing event. Okay. Something, I don't know. I don't know why I just said something that wasn't helpful. Oh, oh, so this is what I was, what I thought it was going to be before Truman Capote, in which Philip Seymour Hoffman plays the title role. And I didn't put it in because of the NM and I was trying to think Truman has MN, but they're in the wrong order and they're not adjacent. So anyway, there we go. Uh, shouldn't have I shouldn't have been presumptuous about putting that one in. That was not not smart. Okay, grass could be pot and leaves with a traumatic memory. Scars. If it leaves if something leaves you with a traumatic memory, it scars you. I was wondering for a moment if this was somehow plant leaves, tea leaves, that sort of thing. I, I don't know, some kind of reading the tea leaves and finding something tragic. I don't know. But no, it's not. It was more straightforward than that. Extreme racing event. Oh, Iron Man? Is Iron Man a racing event? I don't think so. Well, I don't know. Maybe it is. Is it a race in the sense that you have to traverse a huge landmass or something? I don't really actually know what Iron the Iron Man competition is. I just realized. It's sort of one of those things that's in the culture, but I don't actually know what it is. Anyway, puts down is saddens maybe as in you get somebody down to be in a low mood for instance i'm not completely confident about that what about this is beneficial well if it's beneficial it helps so actually that looks okay 
goo for a batter. I was going to say piñatas, but that's not correct. And also it doesn't make any sense with the clue. It looks like pine tar. Oh, a batter, a baseball batter. Wow. Okay. So I, I think that's what they put on their hands to better grip, to better grip the bat. Okay. Look at that. I was not in any way going to, I wasn't going to find that at all without those crosses. So daisy relatives are asters. I think this is the third time we've seen asters as flowers in the past week. Keys on a piano, Alicia Keys, the musician. So that's a bit of misdirection because of course her name is very uh, apt in that you think you're talking about the physical keys, but no. Press material, uh, garlic for a garlic press perhaps. And some formal attire. Heels, maybe? Shoes? Um, feels that this is an open enough answer that it could be other things. So I don't know if I want to. Oh, well, here we go. Award-winning Barry, Halle Berry, the, the actor. So she's certainly won awards, I'm sure. And then corn plant part. Corn plant part. What is a part of a corn plant? Let's look elsewhere. Organization whose annual budget isn't public. Oh, probably the National Security Administration, I guess. Didn't actually know that, but I suppose I believe it. And then first games. Not sure what that is. Entrees cooked in slow cookers. Pot roasts, maybe? Um, slow, slow braised meat. Beef. Okay, low power. Still not quite seeing what that is. What about this? Inside the NBA error. Well, there are U.S. television networks, TBS and TNT. I don't know which this is, or if it's another one that I'm not thinking of. Uh, what about this? First rate. So this could be an S or a T. Well, if it were a T, it could be the somethingist. First rate. What about this? Heavy British vehicle, a lorry, big truck, essentially, an articulated vehicle. Uh, first games are, uh, what about this? Oh, right. That's the inside of the NBA. I'm doing that thing where I immediately look back at clues I just looked at. Okay. Oh, corn plant. Is it a tassel? That sounds familiar. First games, oh, openers, the first games of a series, perhaps. So low power, it looks like square. Oh, I see, a low mathematical power. So raised to the second degree, so eight to the power of two would be eight squared, so 64. So that is a low power because um, I guess the only lower ones would be zero or one. Although I guess you could have fractional powers, but anyway, two is pretty low as far as they go. What many verbs indicate actions. There we go. Okay. That was very straightforward. That's the, I suppose the most basic function of verbs. And ah, yes, yes, indeed. Tis, it is. Yes, indeed. They require glasses. Toasts. All oh, right. You toast somebody with, with a glass to you. Toast. Small grinder, maybe a tooth in your mouth. Grinding on morsels of food. He's saved by his sister in a story, uh, Hansel and the story of Hansel and Gretel. They um, find their way back home through the breadcrumb trail. Anyway. Okay. What have we here? These. Okay. So the question mark indicating a bit of punnery or wordplay. In this case, it's just sort of being generally cute. So what do we have here? We have these, of course, definitionally, I suppose. Like many Hollywood heartthrobs, seemingly ageless. It does seem like some of them just do not seem to age. Okay. Like Tom Cruise and Keanu Reeves. Paul of Fame. Um, oh. I don't know. Les Paul. Les Paul was a guitarist. Who actually saw live once before he died. Uh, let's see. I don't know if that's what, who this means. Uh, picks up and kind of cycle. 
in a bad way. You're ill. You're in a bad way. You're ill. Lager descriptor. A pale ale, pale lager. And one might be cracked. You could crack a smile. Let's slip a little upturn of the mouth. I want to know what I missed. Fill me in. There we go. Kind of cycle. Oh, REM cycle. Rapid eye movement. A sleep. Part of part of sleep. So it starts to if something starts to go out of control, it spirals out of control. And then it picks up. Right. If she picks something up, she senses it. So this is Les Paul. Paul of fame. I guess this just means a famous Paul. That's really all it means. And it's just punning on the idea of a hall of fame, Paul of fame. I think that's all that's going on here. I sort of was looking for something more specific, but I think that's, I think that's what's going on. It's just a sort of a cute little slightly punny answer. Okay. What is left to do up here? Oh, I didn't, I, right. I need to remember that there's going to be a, um, a rebus in one of these. And what, what state is it going to be? Colorado, maybe? That would be CO. Does that help if I look through these? So here we have a uh, Twitter handle used by the White House. I would have thought it would have been something POTUS or something like that, but I guess not. I'm not, I, I'm not sure offhand. What about this? Hawaii's blank palace. Iolani Palace is um, former royal palace of the Kingdom of Hawaii, now a uh, museum in the state of Hawaii, in the United States. And then, okay, so we, so we have to put, a, so that's that was helpful because I knew that answer, so I knew it wouldn't have a rebus in it. So what about this one? Officially noted. Something ED at the end, maybe? Get to the bottom of. And first half, oh, side one, maybe, of a record? Oh, it's usually side A and side B. Hmm, not sure. Let's, oh, well, this looks okay. Lacto-ovo-vegetarianism. I've, I've heard of that as a, as a diet. And then Spider-Blank, character in Marvel's Spider-Verse. Spider-Glenn? Oh, no, 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 no. This would be, sorry. This would be Spider-Gwen. There's a character, Gwen, in some Spider-Man stories. And then typically tortilla-less meals are something bowls. Oh, taco. Oh, it is. It, look at that. It was Colorado. See, oh, taco bowls. Okay, there we go. And then get to the bottom of is... Unravel? Oh, this wasn't an R. Okay, so what is this? Officially noted. On record. Okay, there we go. That's why it isn't ED. Well, it's sort of why it isn't ED, because this is uh, an adjective rather than a past tense verb. So something has been officially noted. It, it is on record, as opposed to we officially noted it which is what, how I was thinking about reading this. So always remember not to get too caught up in one particular sense of a part of speech of a clue because many things can be used as different parts of speech. Big whoop could be ole, maybe? Loud cry? Oh, I see, flotus. So it's first lady of the United States. So actually I was sort of on the right track with potus, but I should have thought of another possible handle. And then down we have first rate is finest. And is that it? There we go. All right, we will admire our puzzle. And uh, there we go, a very clever geographical, a very clever geographical theme. So we had our four corners, the U.S. tourist locale that inspired this puzzle, the four corners of Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, and Arizona. we be very curious to hear how uh, people unfamiliar with U.S. geography found this puzzle, because that could be completely baffling. Uh, if you didn't have any idea what the four corners is suggesting here, then this would be, I mean, this would just be absolutely nothing. So I think it's a very clever clue and a theme. It doesn't, it doesn't bother me personally, but that's because I had that context, I think. So I'd be, I'd be very curious to hear how others managed to deal with it. Um, yeah, that would be tough. I think that would be tough. 
let's see, were any of these particularly, I mean, Iron Man maybe was sort of tricky, but I mean, I guess I just say that because I wasn't certain about it, but yeah, I mean, none of these, none of these uh, answers are particularly obscure, I don't think, but still, if you didn't know that's what you were looking for, that kind of thing can be, can be very, very tricky indeed. Anyway, let me know. Uh, a fun theme by Matthew Stock there. And now, let's discuss a few clues from yesterday's puzzle. What do we have? So Michael Lister explains, uh, 30 for 30 was a series of 30 sports documentaries created to coincide with ESPN's 30th year of broadcasting. There have now been several series added to the original 30. And Bradley says, I remember it being described as 30 films from 30 different directors. So there we go. Thank you for that explanation. And Jeremy Moody says Lego is still a family-owned Danish company. Perhaps the clue which referred to, I think it said Legos originally. So um, I was wondering, is it no longer Danish? And uh, Jeremy suggests perhaps they mean the toy is no longer exclusively manufactured in Denmark, though a small amount still is. Or the clue writer is just confused, as you already pointed out. Legos is not the proper plural for Lego bricks to the company and fans. Yeah, it's hard to say. Uh, someone someone else, sorry, I guess I didn't take down this comment, but someone else suggested maybe originally simply means that it originates in Denmark and doesn't necessarily imply that it's no longer based there, which I think that's a fair interpretation, but it's definitely not how we would ordinarily use the phrase originally in in English, I don't think. Um, it does it does suggest no longer that, which is why you're pointing out the the original identity. But I think it's a good, those, those are both good guesses. So anyway, I don't know. I think it was a weird clue, but that's fine. And that's that for today's puzzle. I'll be back tomorrow for the Friday puzzle. No theme, no rebuses, none of this, none of this nonsense. Just solving, just clues and answers put into a grid. And I hope you join me for that for the Friday puzzle. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Thursday. Take care. Mm -hmm.